Hello guys and welcome back to my first tutorial in English. So today I'll show you how to use the map editor on the 1.40 version of AeroTrack Simulator 2. How to set up the files correctly so that you have no problem with the editor and the basics of it. So in the first uh, thing we have to open the Steam uh, app, uh, right click on AeroTrack Simulator 2, properties and we will head to local files uh, browse click on browse or you can just uh, go to this pc and then go where you have the aerotrack installed it's the same thing bin folder windows dot x64 and then we have aerotrack's do aerotrack's 2.exe we'll right click it and we'll make a shortcut but now we cut the shortcut and we'll put it on the desktop. Rename it. You can rename it how you want. In my case, I will put it um, edit tutorial. And now the single thing you have to do properties and at the target, we have to write space line edit space Europe. This tutorial uh, will be for the people that are looking to edit the Europe map, like the one made by SCS software, not how to create a new map. Because um, many new people have like uh, almost 10 recruits that want to join the um, Road Rebuild project and the um, Europe rebuilt add-on so I will do the tutorial special for them but you can do it too if you want to start your own map or just uh, if you want to join our team so write uh, line edit space Europe then line no workshop like this then space line unlimited log the no workshop is in case you have a mod from the steam workshop uh, when you open the editor it will load uh, all the modes that you have uh, even if they are in the uh, anything let's see in documents okay so uh, for example uh, your mod folder should be empty especially um, if you want to make your own map like if you are working for example on pro modes you should have pro modes here like if you want to have their assets and work for them in a legal way or uh, if you want for example to join other teams i recommend you to have this empty especially do not uh, have here any any uh, any map uh, mods for example pro mods or rebuild uh, and so on okay but you can have track mods uh, I don't know, uh, icons, graphic mods, that's uh, safe to do. Okay, and uh, as I said, no workshop is to also disable in the editor the workshop mods you have subscribed and the unlimited log is for the game.log file. It will help you in case you have a uh, problems with the editor and want uh, me to help you or something. And then click apply. Uh, we'll go to Steam. If you don't want to do this, uh, the edit. Uh, the shortcut thing you just right click in your track properties and here write the same thing uh, line edit europe line no work shop, un unlimited work. is the same thing i prefer just to use the the shortcut one okay and now um, you just open this file the shortcut and wait it can take a, a bit of time if you have a slow computer Okay, so it loaded. It will take between one minute and five minutes, depending on your computer, as I said. Okay, and now basically your your setup is ready. Okay, so you entered the editor. Great thing. Now, 
Uh, I'll show you where the map will be saved. Go to Documents, Euro Truck Simulator 2, Mod. Here uh, you see the user map folder created. Let's go to... Um, let's go here. Doesn't matter. So let's see. So I will, for example, do something here at Cluj Napok. I will uh, remove those two barriers, okay? So... Um, um i will show you the first uh, just the controls now so we have plus to create something new or uh, open it with the key a okay e we have the move tool with m so this one with m you move items with it look like this we have the s item the scale one it works only for models i will explain that later and the D1, the X, which delete as an item, okay? Now I showed you only the mm, uh, basic box things, the uh, controls. After I save the map and show you how, where it's saved, I'll show you the full thing, how to do it. As I said, please wait a bit. now uh, you can close the editor and you will see here in the folder uh, documents or truck simulator to mode user map here you have a map folder and inside it you have europe and all your sectors the sectors of the europe map now if you open the tutorial the map again you will see the map got stored with no problems so it's not as the 1.39 uh, save and load option was like where you have to create a base map fold and so on here on 1.40 uh, all you have to do is just to open the editor with the line edit europe uh, command and that's it and then you just uh, close save like save close and then open again Let's see, uh, wait a bit, okay. From what you can see, our barriers, uh, our deleted barriers saved. So now you learned how to save your work, okay? So it was pretty easy. Uh, let's see, mm, what can I show you? I will continue this thing, okay? Let's see. Uh, firstly, um, uh, you should, you will not have it like this. Let me one thing. Uh, item. Okay, so yours, your map editor look like this. It's okay to use it like this too. Okay, so don't uh, worry. Uh, to open this, uh, as I said, as you saw, G Minicon one. And this will show you um, uh, things that you should keep in mind when it comes to optimizing your map. For example, here you have the FPS. Okay. Here we have the TC, which shows the triangle count. It should not exceed like something like 2 million or uh, 400,000 uh, is okay. SC, we have DC, which shows how many models are loaded. They should not exceed like 3000 4000 maximum uh, 5000 and this to me this is for vegetation okay but the things that you really should worry about are tc and dc both are the same have the same importance uh, now we have the properties tab which with which uh, you can click on the red dot of uh, road and it will show the properties of it okay we have the node controls, which uh, I'll show, explain you later. And now I will show you how to uh, open the browser. It will be closed for the first time. Don't worry. Press the F2 key, F2, or the key here, the content browser. And now you can, uh, you have a nice... Uh, 
a nice menu of items we can put on your map, signs, buildings, like walls, uh, models, okay. Movers, people moving, prefabs, intersections, and so on. We will start with roads, of course. So, uh, go to roads, and uh, I recommend you to not use those ones. In my case, I will use the bulky models. Let's see the... Um, for example, I will take the bulky road one template row. In your case, you can get the French ones, German ones, Iberian ones, Italian, Scandinavian, Baltic. Okay, I will take, as I said, the bulky road one template row. Right click and click insert to map or just double click on it and you have it here. Um, I will continue this part here. I won't put it in a rebuild, of course, it's just a test. So, you have here a road item default properties. Here on the left, you have the terrain shader, which is the terrain model. For example, here we have the same thing grass green main SVR. And on the right, it is grass green main SVR. We have left edge, which is the edge of, uh, of the road. For example, bulky shoulder uh, 15 lo should look like this. It's the same thing. Same on the right. And road variant is the lines that you have on the road. For example, let's put a test road here. Sorry. For example, and uh, with M, as I said, with the M key, you, if you want to move the entire road like not like this, uh, don't do that. Press Control, click on the left uh, node, on the right node, and just move them, okay? And you'll see the single thing is the continuous line. You can take the no lanes, it will look like this. Broken, it will be a broken line where you can overtake. Worn, it's like uh, when it is between a broken lane and a single lane, so that you want the, the drivers, the lane will go solid soon. And we have a few more which are like the same thing double okay but road look which show which shows how the material of the road looks see it's a difference use it based on the real world google maps see this one looks a bit older i will lose the standard one Okay, with um, uh, broken, uh, uh, you can do like this, move it, and connect it like this, or you can just start it from here, but you when you click to end it, you left click to end it, it must be on the road, so don't do this here, in this situation, just put it like that and then move it if the road uh, when you do this it will go something like in the in the canyon you must have these magnets enabled okay the first two magnets and the last two magnets if you have them disabled uh no if you have all of them disabled it should uh, i don't know in some cases the the models you are using will drop like in the in the void. I recommend it to have like this one, two, and four, five. Okay. I will show you now uh, the, how to do the road properties. We will work on this one because we should do some improvements to it. Oh, we'll keep at this one. Okay, let's make it longer. And as I said, with P, click, left click, and you have the uh, properties uh, tab. So, 
Firstly, I will explain the boxes, the check boxes. You have high poly road. It will make the road look way better if it is a curve, for example. Also the terrain. So uh, let's see. Let's try to make a curve. Okay, it doesn't matter how it looks. It's just an example. Now let's just compare high poly road on versus off. See, look at the edges. It looks so bad. We'll use high poly road. Enter or OK. It will be like this. Good. I recommend you to not use it if it is a straight road with almost straight road. OK, enable it only uh, if there are terrain problems or something, as in my case. But. I want to use it. No collision. Uh, to check the collisions, also one important thing. Press Alt C. So again, Alt C. And you'll see the collisions on the map. Uh, these basically are the uh, invisible walls that your uh, that your track will hit. For example, look, SCS is tricky in some places and they don't put only the barriers to so there. They also put invisible walls. See, you can move those invisible walls. Wait, see? I recommend to delete them. It's mandatory to delete them in this case because you can't enter the, with the truck. And go to road properties. Uh, see, you can delete those too. Go to road properties. And you now have to enable the no boundaries tab, okay? No boundary tab. And this way you removed the boundaries that are near the road. There are also boundaries for the terrain. So go in the properties of a terrain too and enable no boundary. See? Same here with this small piece. No boundary. This road too and so on uh you i think you got it same here no boundary yeah good i will do all of this so that the road will be drivable yeah as i said the seals doesn't uh, really care about boundaries okay and i show you the boundaries thing and same to collisions the where we all uh, also started the no collisions thing well basically if you enable you will see here we have collisions so your track won't fall through the map but here we have no collisions so the track will fall through the map i recommend you to it is like if you want to drive here, you must use collision, okay? And uh, showing you a map, if you press enter, see the road just disappeared from the map. If you put it again, see magic happens, it is on the map. No AI vehicles, it disables the traffic so that it can't enter this road. Beware that the traffic from what i remember it will go like this and then just disappear on this road i am saying well yes look traffic will disappear here but again i will take i will get in the traffic to a bit later okay let's disable alt c good so i recommended to have also air vehicles enabled no boundary I just show you it uh, puts the collisions on the left and right edge low poly it will make the vegetation trees low poly so that it doesn't consume a lot of resources like cpu gpu so on ignore cut planes i will get into that later water reflection if it is a river or something the road will reflect in the river left hand traffic i think it's you already got it Stretch terrain, it will make the terrain more stretcher. Look, see, 
super fine it works only on the german roads like the old roads that are from the 20 2013 2014 when the game was released it is not available on the new type of roads instead we have high poly road train shadows i didn't get what is done but Keep it disabled if it doesn't affect anything. Small detail vegetation, it makes the detail of the vegetation more smoother. GPS avoid. The GPS won't put a route for you to go here. Okay. We have center material. If this will be, for example, a two lane road, uh, yeah, I know it's not a good explanation here. Uh, with, let's put something with. Um, like this, look, you will have uh, terrain in the middle, so you have three terrains now, the center, left and right. So yeah, you can select, for example, I don't know, see, you can change it as you can do on the left and right. Okay, I will put back my road. And now uh, we'll get to the road overlay thing light it basically adds uh, hinges on the road like cracks light medium the details city bars from where to where and so on i'll put it a light now we got to the left part here uh, you can select many things for example what's the size of the terrain 80 meters 10 meters 100 meters 1000 okay you can put anything you want put 80 same on the right side so we can put it two here so three so basically what i show you on the left also applies on the right okay we have the terrain which is the profile of the terrain like if it is plain hill uh, down okay let's see for example low hill plain see it makes a hill but it won't work because this road already has a terrain profile. See, down fork. This is what the down fork looks like. If you put plane, it will be like a paper. See, let's put it 80. See, it is plain and everything looks fine. Plain. Same goes on the right. Um... You can use this so that you can copy the settings from a part to the other. Look. And it just put plain terrain on the right side. Put here 82. Okay, I, I will start I will delete this thing so that it doesn't annoy our tutorial too much. Same here. Okay. So uh, back to properties, we have the saddle options, but uh, those are for the German roads, as I said, the old roads, not the new type of roads. Okay, this uh, size is also, as I said, for the old type of roads. We have the noise power, it basically selects how, um, I don't know to explain, how hilly your uh, Train is for example look zero it will be plain 50 it's so and so and on 100 it has a lot of holes and so on i will put uh, 50 here same on the right so as i said you can copy settings but just the um, noise power won't move so put 50 here Road variant I show you same uh, no I did I showed you the road variant is the same thing that you put when you place the road okay so double broken yes left edge I explained it to you bulk uh, none you basically have it's like this I have curb metal for cities on. Or 15, same thing. SH asphalt, asphalt on the edge of the road. Shoulder 50, 15, 
dirt on the edge of the road shoulder 15 like this 100 175 300 500 road decal it's like it it is does not it does not look so great on this type of road of course in a village it will look awesome 3ma 3mb 3mc 3mc1 so these are sidewalks 3md same on the right on the right edge so they also apply here As I said, pick the no boundary if you want to. And now we're getting the, into the vegetation tab. So, uh, vegetation, it's, it's basically the trees, shrubs, uh, I don't know, anything that is considered a tree or basically vegetation. Click here and you can select the vegetation you want to put. I will put, for example, uh, Let's see, I will put oaks and maples, okay? I want to put uh, oaks and maples on the edge of the road. Sparsity, uh, first I'll show you the from, okay? From uh, the meters from the edge of the road where you want this to start and to the maximum, okay? So for example, 50. Look, they will start from meter five and will end at meter 50. If you put 80, it will end at 80, okay? I will keep it like 3 and to 20, no, 40, Forcity. Our city uh, shows how dense the trees are, okay, 400, 200, 100, 50, see, don't use such astronomic numbers, see, it just got so big the number, use 200, for example, 300, we'll make it something like this, 20, 50 like this okay uh but for the tutorials thing put it to 80 and you see high poly models okay here it shows how uh, how many trees the how many vegetation things are in high detail for example look the one next to the road are high detail and the ones after the 50 meters barrier we put will look like this because it is a uh, it will look so bad like uh, I, I mean if you put like 80 just watch how this number moves see and it's a it's a pain for the GPU and CPU to do it so keep it short the high poly thing again 50 okay same here you can put for example some uh, I don't know shrubs from 40 to 80 see something like this to type poly models to 70 or sparse trees see you, you should play with these settings shrub dry mix shrub mix and so on Okay. Look, you also have Iberian um, here, so yeah, a lot of them. I will keep it like that. You can copy the configuration on the right part. See? And if you look like this, it looks like a countryside road, something. It looks nice i can say have the model this is for lamps let's say lamp uh, bulky lamp pro something 
Let's see. Hmm. Let's use any lamp. Look. You can select the distance between the lamps. 60, 20, 30. It's 40 in my case. Offset how far they should be from the road. 5, 6, 7. Okay, don't mind this uh, model. I just explained to you how it works. You can select uh, one that fits your map. Okay. I'll put it to none. We also have the railing tab where you put railings. Let's say. A crash barrier. Any crash barrier. Let's say this one, okay? It is a Romanian one. We are in Romania right now, so offset uh, six. See, it looks good, but uh, of course, in our case, it doesn't fit. You can uh, invert this thing and also put here seven meter offset, six meter. See? Again, I don't need it, so I will disable it. We also have the overrides is something that you should not uh, use that much i mean it uh, it is basically you all add the left ed the edges two times you should not bother with it also have the misc you select here out only for example see how it, how nice it looks or parking okay I'll disable it here and that's it with roads you can set as default so that uh, from now when you create a road see it will put the same configuration as you did on this road and yeah, that's it with roads so far uh, one more thing when you put a hill for example here let's say Hills one basic you can select how how much or how, i don't know how to explain it see the profile scale coefficient basically if you put it zero it will be also plain one two three i think you got it zero dot five dot four dot two okay i think you got it and now let's get into models Let's search for any model. So again, you can select them from here also. See? Let's uh, take it in this order. So Bezier patch is basically a patch of terrain that you can put anywhere on your map. See, you can model it, put it how you want. Okay. You can, for example, make a hill from it. I know it's a bit, mm, a bit nonsense to do it. Since you can do it with the with the terrain, but you can model it how you want. See, make a small hill. Go into properties, and here you can select the terrain. Let's select, let's say a grass green name is Fia. See, it doesn't look bad, but it's better to do it from road properties. If it's not possible from road properties, like if it doesn't look how you want it, keep it like this. Noise power, you know what it means already, I explained it before. But the refraction cut, plain slow poly, no detailed vegetation, it removes the grass. No collision, you can get with the truck in it. Green shadows, smooth detailed vegetation when you put a tree or something. Vegetation collision, if the trucks, if the truck will hit the vegetation and stop, or if it just goes through the vegetation. Scale, you can rescale the Bezier patch. You can also put a vegetation um, as you did with the C and look, not the vegetation, no, the 
low poly vegetation does this thing see changes from high poly to low poly if the basic patch is like far from the road not this case but it will it will be like this i recommend you to put low poly because it will use a lot of resources see it's like 10,000 difference almost so keep it like this i will delete it buildings they are not what you think a uh, building you will think like it is a house or something usually buildings are models that are extensive so basically it they work like a road you can make it how long you want okay it's not as a model where you can resize it and lose quality from it it has the same quality everything you will do to it let's see buildings examples see they are direction blockers they are uh trees they can be also trees yes Let's see walls and so on barriers see so we have properties for this too you can select the category from where you want to get the model the building sorry uh, this will turn off the accessories it's not the case here look it uh, can have more looks you can select the stretch see one then zero that one it um or it uh, helps you if you have for example uh, it in a cube for something view distance from how long also this the view distance applies for everything the view distance i forgot to show you it basically says how long from what distance can the road be maximum seen so for example if i put 240 if i get too far you see it it disappears try to put it for roads i would recommend it to put it like 950 or even 1400 depends on the type of road here i think uh, 950 is fine yeah it's fine uh i recommend it to you play with the view distance especially for models and buildings but i those i already explained so i'll click ok that's it with buildings let's go to the next thing camera paths and camera point those are some details that you should not look now they are basically where you ex where you show your um, city like a cinematic or something like as you saw in the colorado dlc or iberia dlc city i will get into that in another tutorial you have the city with companies and so on curve it's exactly the same as the buildings but you have a few more uh, properties see you have a first part where you can select for example none see it has no end no starting this starting see you you, you have more options for it you have more uh, freedom into center even driveway gate or something. yes so yeah you have a option and last part is same as first part Pain. it's not the case here also have others say this see it is a curb this but it instead has to can select from here what to use so yeah it's the same as with roads you have a look 
change the look the look of the curve in our case stretch the same with as with the the buildings a scale you can make it bigger okay the distance what a reflection i explained cut plane slow poly step geometry barely noise those are just some uh, graphic uh, improvement in their geometry so that it uh, is in the opposite direction no mirror reflection this also applies to others so basically when you go with the track you won't see in the mirror those this item linear path again just some details for now detail vegetation it has vegetation Six step this this is in the case of a lamp or barrier or something that's it with curves now we'll go to the next option cut plane so let's say um, you want to optimize your map okay you will put a cut plane so let's put the cut plane on the map just left click and i think you will get from what it what happens you will get it what it does see basically it hides uh, items from you for example um let's say i don't want to see this road okay look i put it like this and i can see the road see it will be like this and when you enter the area the road will disappear same happens here okay but beware that in this case it won't be uh, hidden because it must include the origin of the sorry, the origin of the item the origin and ending like this but because it has um uh, ignore cut planes it won't show i i really don't know how it is with roads it's something like this see but i think you got it like for example you have one side only so that it works only on one side see here it won't to uh, hide anything here yes and that's it with uh cut planes uh, i will delete it now also have cut scenes again this is just a detail when it's it's like when you buy a garage in a city and it shows where the um what no this is for as i said for camera points uh, where you have cinematics how the city looks and so on far model uh it's a place like an area where you select to show only far models i didn't play with it so too much see here you can uh, let's say you put it here and if you want to put more far models i will explain that when i get to models you can put them here and they will have loads I will explain lots also later. Ferry, uh, it's for ferry boats. Again, we won't use this at the current time. Change, have map area, which I will show later, same to map overlay because they are for a bit more experienced users. And model, this is also an important tab. Let's search for a model. if you want so these are basically all the uh, houses uh, adverts and so on lanes let's search for dlc bulk and i will select uh, house something let's say yeah I'll select a house let's search village it also can be uh, just house flat they'll symbol can i select this house let's put it here so this is a model you have fast options you can select the variant of it 
yeah models can also have more variants uh, also colors see many colors depending on the model and here applies the scale tab it's scaled you can rescale a model don't uh, overuse that too much because it will look bad and properties you can add additional parts see like details don't activate all the details every time especially when models that are far from the road as i said variant and color variant we have the load which i i mentioned before it's for when the model is close, is uh, like far from the road. You have load from 50 meters. It basically just removes some details. See? So that it is more optimized. If you go to view, uh, item visibility, and activate performance, you will see the difference. Look. The DC and TC is smaller same now i'll put it at uh, let's say now i'll keep it at dynamic because it's not that far from the road you have the scale you can resize the model you can click on the which can text uh, you can uh, tick this box and it will rescale the entire model position you can move it see with coordinates left hand traffic those work only in some cases no shadows it will disable the shadows no mirror reflection when you get with the truck as i said it won't appear in the mirror and view distance i will keep it like that and that's it with models and i just explained you with the load we have mover mover are basically same as models but uh, instead there are more like vehicles uh people basically mm, moving models it says by the name let's take for example the basketball player click e and see we have a a uh, man playing basketball see it's like moving let's say you can also put uh, trajectories for them let's say like this just left click and left click again see it will move from time to time let's say a baby woman uh, baby woman See, can put roots like this. Let's go into properties, and you see you can select the mo mover model, mover look. In some cases, it will have also looks. You can change the width, for example, how far is the uh, mover from the trajectory? See, it's it's weird, like. WTF okay keep it at zero I recommend you delay at end how much uh, when the mover ends its uh, trajectory how much it will take until it respawns for example if you put it to five go, look and see see it stops there for like five seconds and then we'll go back here I'll put it to zero. Count. You can put how many you want. You want. You want. Sorry. I put one. You can active. You can uh, play with those things. Like if it, if you don't want it to be uh, in the night, nice weather, bad weather, and so on. Bouncing at end. Like when it gets back to when it gets at the end. It will, it will just rotate and go back, not from here, teleport here. Cures path, it will like have a 
uh, I don't know, uh, blocky moving. Just look. See, it is. It looks so bad, but it is more. Uh, it is less performance cost. Non movable animation. It's only for other movers. Keep retention on bounce. Cut planes, bounding volume, water reflection, and don't use sound in case of a plane, for example. Okay, I will delete it now. Next, we have no weather area here. You can select an area. Sorry. You can select an area where uh, you won't have weather, like here. It will be sunny and things like that. It's, you have to use it when you are, for example, making a bridge like this and put it uh, in a bridge so that it doesn't rain in the bridge. Okay, next, prefab. Let's forge for a prefab. Prefabs basically intersections, companies, like uh, more pieces of roads and models placed in a just one uh, part let's go to DLC bulk and select the prefab let's say um, this one or this one and see you can put it like this and look you have an intersection um what uh you can also do look at origin you can change where the red dot is so uh one more thing you can't place one red dot in another red dot um i think i have no example to show you here yeah i have no example to show you let's say Look, we have a red dot here, okay? You can't put the red dot with the red dot. You can't put red dot with red dot. It only would work if you put a green dot with a red dot or if you put a green dot with a green dot. See? Now you will say that, but I wanted to put it like this. Why it is not working? I want to make it like this. I have no prefabs. So OMG Stefan, I want a prefab that is working. Don't worry. You can select select with the origin where the red dot will be. See? Like this. And you can now use your prefab with the desired connection. See? Okay, now I will uh, um, also when you do a mistake or something or just want to delete something in mass, press Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z again so that you undo your actions like that. I'll put here like this you can select the prefab look there are the same textures as with the road look i'll put one and rotate it a bit like this and now i have a prefab here let's activate vehicles so that they can enter the road and let's look into prefab properties Oh, uh, yeah, it, it will look a bit um, hard for you, but it's easy, it works the same as the road. We have additional parts, see, it adds more details on the prefab. Cross, so broken, cross, give road, midlines, parking, semaphores. Let's say you want to have a semaphore here, you can go to this part and you can also put a semaphore, see? 
put it to none because I want to have a standard detail section here. So I'll disable semaphores, put broken and cross like that. And we have no boundary as I already said, no activation. Um, I didn't test it yet, but I think it's just for companies so that it won't they won't be activated. So when you I map, you already know what it means. Cut plane state border. You should put it if it is a border between two countries. Water reflection, AI vehicles, details, low poly tunnel. Activated if it is a tunnel. Custom semaphores. Now we'll go to node settings. Let's let me show you. Uh, so we have screen size in meters, same as with roads. Let's put 5, C, 7, like this. You can also change the terrain. Grass, um, green main is FIA. We can put also a corner. So the left right edge here will be corner. Look, SH, SVB, yeah. I put SH and this box here is the same for the other nodes you can have up to I think up to from what I see up to six nodes. Um let's put here the same thing. Cross green main is FIA um seven and corner sh same here grass green main is via mm, at and corner sh and look we have a nice looking intersection we can also uh, put vegetation i'll put vegetation here shrubs and foliage sparsity 300 from 5 to 80 mm, sparsity 200 and high poly models since they are dense i will put only 30 40 maximum 30 i'll keep it 30 also you have the scale option with which you can make the items bigger, smaller. Uh, sorry, this one, this one. Depending on your needs, I will put 100, 140. I think it's good. Or 80, 120 is the most, is the best for me. You can. Um, that as default so that when you place a new prefab uh, this model it will show you like this but I recommend you to keep the original one or just save as preset one that has no vegetation in just the borders the corner sorry so you learned prefabs now the next thing uh, road yeah I showed you we have also sign uh, I'll show you at the end. Terrain. With uh, terrain, you make uh, basically as it is with roads, but uh, independent terrain piece. See? Like this. I don't know. I don't know where you should use it, but you can put it like hinges or just. I don't know. It's your choice. You know what to do with it. Properties. Is the same thing here uh, up here you can uh, change the terrain uh, no um, no on the right side sorry let's take uh, grass something I don't know see you have terrain you can put noise power zero vegetation as I like explained railing it's for uh, um, if you want to put a railing and that's pretty much it with the terrain now we have traffic area 
which I also promi promised you to show you with the map area firstly uh, let me uh, before that let me put these roads on the map no boundary and showing live map also broken it will be a single lane here also a high poly one and this one this one's two and that's it look we have them on the map now let me show you what the map area basically it uh you can make something to appear on the map like on the mini map press e left click left click left click left click you can put only three four five one hundred how many you want and then move so that you resize them And now you can see uh, you will have um, a small a small piece here on the map. This works if you make custom uh, custom companies or here look something like that. But it it, it will be a normal one like if you make it from zero, not a prefab uh, gas station. Or custom intersection as I said I will delete it now also uh, yeah well, let me show you the properties you can select the if it is a visual or navigation one color let's say green if it is a I don't know if you make uh, one big one and you have also put a vegetation thing in uh, in the scheme you did like for example, if you make a custom company and you put a tree in it, you can mark that tree with a green uh, green color. In my case, it won't. It will also show uh, gray because I have the Google Maps navigation mode. I think draw outline that it has an own outline and draw over like if you have, a, as I said, a bigger one. Put the smaller one with a draw over so that it appears over the bigger one. Okay, and now I will delete it. Traffic area uh, is the same as map area when you place it like with left click. You can set you can set traffic rules for a section. For example, this section I want here the the cars, the vehicles to go. I don't know 50 I will put a uh, speed limit 50 okay crossroad area if it if you make uh, dozens of prefabs that might make an entire intersection you can uh, enable it and click OK now I'll show you the traffic tool click on it basically with it you can at accident spawning you can test how traffic will do on your roads see in my case look at this car see it slowed down when it entered my it will slow down here see slow down from like 70 or 80 it slowed down sorry and I will delete it too, or I will keep it like that. I think I will keep it. Trajectory. Um, let's say I don't want traffic to be here. Let's put uh, something, for example, a box. Let's put a box. I also have Romanian version tutorials, so I'll try to do them as close as I can to those tutorials so that people can understand the same thing like so that the Romanians don't uh, know more than you or less than you now let's go to trajectory uh, left click left click 
let's click so basically with uh, uh, trajectory you you can add custom uh, custom routes for the AI traffic and you put it uh, put it so that it is in the put it like that and then move it a bit press R the rotate see like that and here I wanted to make a left signal left blinker look like this that the trucks won't hit the box same at the end like that I hope it will work let's see see left blinker and it also missed the box let's let's say let's see which trucks look now on the other side too I know it's a bit exaggerated but I put it like that right blinker something like this I don't know you just uh, play with the settings see it will like make space for for the others coming from the other way see they won't crash of course it this will happen in a this will happen in a civilized world, not here, in our real life, where no one will give a damn about what, about what the obstacles are on the other side of the road, but in a perfect world, this is how drivers should really react. Let's say trigger. Now let's check the trigger. So let's say we want to make a... Let's say this will be a mini hotel, okay, a pension. Left click and sorry, left click and then left click again where you want it to end. And also move and resize it like this. Basically, those are sleeping points, messages. Let's say action data, and we have, for example. Where is it? Where is it? This one. Parking had activation auto reset. And click OK. Now you see here you have a sleeping point where you can uh, sleep. Like if you go with the truck here, you can re really sleep. Something like this. I don't know. And pretty much that's it with the basics. Now I'll show you how to do a sign, the last thing in this tutorial, also save, I forgot to save, nice thing, awesome. I hope uh, it, if it will be a crash or something I will lose everything, so yeah, try to save as much as you can, from like 10 minutes to 10 minutes. Okay, uh, one more thing before we get into um, signs, we have two things more left, brush, which are this, or open with B, uh, it will appear you like something like this, it's basically uh, you, can, you can change the material of the terrain, let's search, for example, soil gravel, yeah, you can select anything you want. you keep uh, with left click you do this like you have to keep press the left click and this is how it will appear 
you can also change the brush size for example one by one 10 by 10 um wait one second i think it's stuck don't ask me why okay weird again see 10 by 10 you can put any anything you want you can put a color yeah color you can even put a color a custom i don't know i don't know why would you do that but okay you can put i think uh if you want to do it like this if you want to do it darker it's no, it's your business no detail vegetation uh you remove grass remove grass with it let's say here i know it looks bad but just for tutorial purposes no vegetation with this you remove the trees and things that you put with the vegetation tab no low poly vegetation disables high details for vegetation high poly it makes the low poly ones look high detail high poly Mm, this is how it should work at least see it is now high poly okay we have also quad rays with this you can remove um, train pieces if you want to do a tunnel or something use this and that's it with brushes now uh, uh, sorry uh, last thing before you get to signs we have the the how can i tell you the vertex option so you open it from here it's easy with here or with the uh, letter v key v okay with it you can move the quads of what you're in so for example let's click on this and see you made a we made a hill it's like simple you can with control you can select more make a bigger hill i don't know put them like this your choice can help you in many situations for example a situation we have here let's say we want to put this uh, dirt under our nice looking terrain okay see we can put it under our terrain so that it doesn't uh i don't know disturb our work or you can do that also with the uh, um how is it called the quad erase option you can also select more like this see and do that yeah it's it's infinite uh, possibilities also if you want uh i'll show you here you can select more like this with click or just with uh, this type like like this you can click on average uh, and they all will be connected and and you can move them all or uh, in case there is uh, terrain differences you can put average height see so there are terrain differences now average height and they are all the same level and weld it's not in our case but average is the one that is the most helpful same as the average height and you can do that with uh, everything every every train piece like this okay that's it with vertex now let's go into signs and here i will end our tutorial after the signs signs you can search for a sign in sign template 
Let's take a Romanian sign. I don't know. Let's uh, really take this one, this sign. So, if you want to get, uh, if you want to like uh, know where the where they uh, took a sign or something, a model or any road, you can press on the on the mirror or something uh, viewfinder, and see it will be highlighted. Right click, insert to map. Now let's go um here but it's not our case let's look for something look this one will uh, in one second sorry we'll take it insert to map and put it uh, i don't know mm, i think here something like that now properties and you, you can edit the sign so click left click okay, and here you have text for example dn1 in my case let's say you can change the font face the font is different font size you i think you all know what font size means right horizontal align is on the left, on the right, center, font color, yep, like that, yeah, two, let's say it's still one, and you can also change the text, let's say, I don't know, you are in Cluj, so it will be, I don't know, uh, let's say Dej yeah Satu Mare yeah uh, we can resize as I said something like that and if you want if you if you, if you want to keep it like that and you want to disable those X's you can go to font opacity and put it zero enter and now it disappeared here too, I will put uh, Turda and uh, Sebesh. If, if you want uh, to use the acrylics, press Shift Alt and click on the Romanian keyboard. If you don't have it, you can go to Windows, search for uh, search for language, and you can put there a keyboard. Same here, font opacity zero. Now, uh, click on save and just close it. See, it is now saved. If you want to do a new template, like if you don't want to just edit those, you can uh, uh, put some news, but not from here. From template, edit template, right click, edit board, and um here you can move those items see i will do something simple okay firstly uh go to documents or track mod here create a new folder for example mod tut like mod tutorial um something like this now save us source here at source you must select uh, mod tooth or user map but i recommend you mod tooth i recommend to use mod tooth in case you are working for Rory build team or for uh, someone like in a team so that you have uh, you can save uh, your sign properly you can also have errors with user map here write any name um let's say sign test save here uh, you can keep it like this mod underline tut you must here type a name that someone else won't use for example don't type promotes or don't type i don't know uh, 
just a letter don't type letter a just make something unique for example stefan or i don't know any name help with words that tuto, um, tutorial save now go back select from here mm. yeah uh, awesome uh, yeah i have an error with it yeah uh, you have to also create a folder dev so again properties edit template edit board like that save test save yeah keep it like that save again back and yeah i think you have to keep the name there like keep the name of the folder you created so keep it like that so make sure this name is unique it must have mod then underscore and then just three letters make sure those three letters are unique for example stay or f or something don't put i don't know abc because i'm pretty sure many already did that i can even expect some maps to do that and now from here select the test sign click save save you have to do the save thing two times so mod tooth here uh, write test sign something I recommend it to be the same name as the one you put previous save here keep it like that and make sure that when you make an, another sign don't change it so that uh, if you change it you will have some problems with uh, saving the sign so make sure this is the same every time for every sign save now you can close the tab click here with properties and select test sign see you now have your edited sign here that's it with signs you can now save and i think this is um, all i could help with you uh, in this tutorial it was uh, one hour and 22 minutes a long tutorial it is the same length as the first romanian tutorial i did like for 2021 I know it was long but if you had one hour and a half to watch this tutorial I hope you learned something now you, you have endless possibilities you you are ready to start mapping there are some other things that are minor things for example companies and cities but I will get into that in the next tutorial so um i hope i could help you with this tutorial guys thank you so much for watching this is me stefani if you want to join our Rory rebuild team or europe rebuild add-on we have like two mods the road rebuild one in which we are working on romania and soon in moldova and maybe we will rebuild the part of uh, going east and we have another mode europe rebuild add-on which will contain work from anywhere in the Europe. Like if you want to work in, I don't know, France, it's okay. It will implement that in the Europe Rebuild add-on. If you want to work in Germany, it's okay. It will be in Europe Rebuild add-on anywhere you want. So yeah, um, what can I say? Have a nice day and happy mapping. Goodbye.